Let's talk about building this today. I'm calling it animated line art. Yeah, it was inspired by a piece I saw on this man's website about, here, here he is, Tim Jones, timoth.com. And I really liked this one. Um, and that was a jumping off point to end up here. Let's dive in. Okay. First thing I want to do is clear out the boilerplate. Don't need that cube or that hemisphere light. Next thing is to add the mesh line. Mesh line is to 3JS add-on. Um, it doesn't come in the core library. Okay. And I'll get started by creating a texture loader. That's fine. What I want to do is stoke an array of points. So I'll start by creating an empty array called points. Uh, I'm going to do a for loop where I stoke. I'm going to rewrite this real quick. Um, let x equal. In general, I feel like it's a good idea to write your code in such a way that you don't need comments. And this, I think, will facilitate that. Now that for loop is a little, little more clear, I think. So the next thing I want to do is create a new mesh line geometry and set the points. Next thing is the material. Then I'm going to use this mesh line material and I want to pass it a bunch of props, like a color, a texture, in this case, the stroke texture, this Boolean to tell it to use the texture. This will help with the alpha later. I'll show all of these things. I don't need to describe them all. After the material is, is instantiated, I'm going to create this mesh line object and add it to the scene. And let's just see what happens if I do that. I'm getting an error because index is not defined. My bad. Here, let's make it I. Oh, still mad because I is not defined. Oh, it's J, not I. Fine. That is hard to see. There we have our line art. I'm going to go ahead and leave the background out. Let's just optimize. Okay. Now that I've got this line, I want to make this repeatable. That is, I'm going to wrap all of this, the code that instantiates that line in a function called get mesh line. I'm going to pass something in, but not yet. Return mesh line instead of just adding it to the scene and then close brace. Format that. And nothing, uh, the scene, there's, the scene is empty because I need to now const line is equal to get mesh line and then add it to the scene. There we go. Let's add an update method to this mesh line, like kind of like this. Uh, mesh line dot user data dot update equals a function. And I'm going to pass it T. Um, what goes in, on inside here, I'm going to loop over all the points and set them. But I don't, I could do it this way. This is the way I did it at first. Thanks, GitHub Copilot. I loop over every point and we know that there are um, 300 but times three because I'm pushing X, Y, and Z. So there's 900 points, but I saw a better way to do it. Rather than say a better way to do it, I could just say, another way to do it that has less code like this that offset value isn't defined yet but let's just define it const offset is equal to zero the wavelength and the amplitude um yeah those look good that's the update method, and I can call that, let's see, line.userData.update. And instead of that performance.now, let's just use this. T. And I don't see it updating. Now I do. Isn't that nice? 
and we can change the thickness of the line so it's more clear, easy to see. We can change the color of the line to something, whoops, yeah, kind of like that, or like, like that, like orange colored. And there is a really nice animated line. Before we wrap up, I want to create a bunch of lines. And to do that, I want to create a group to kind of manage all of those lines. I'll call it um, const lines group equals a new group. And I'm going to add that to the scene. And I want lines group to have an update method. Thank you. And it's just going to loop over all of its children and update them. I'm going to call their update method. So let's make that work by adding those, um, adding that line there. So that works. Now let's create a bunch of them. Const num lines equals uh, five. And then we'll do a for loop, but I don't want that stuff there. Oh, actually I do like, I like all of that. And save and it breaks. Oh, I'm just trying to see if I can see why it breaks. Um, they all have update methods. Um, okay, I don't know why it breaks. Oh, I'm not passing index. So, but maybe I don't need to yet. Now let's see what the error is. Line is not defined. Of course not. Let's call this lines group there. Oh yeah. If we add blending, is three dot additive blending, then we get an even cooler looking thing. Look at that. How nice is that? Let's add a little bit of offset. Let's call this index times 0 0.1. And that'll move the sine waves kind of out of phase with one another. And once I pr find the appropriate value, 45 maybe. Wow, that re now they're really out of phase. Oh, I just think that looks so good. Fire waves. Um, another, to, to it kind of achieve that effect where they get darker as you go back. Let's make it purple, by the way. Um, Let's just make that color and then we'll define const color <clears throat> equals the new three dot color set HSL. Um, and I'm making them, I think that's making them darker as they recede in the, into the back. Um, that hue is wrong. Seven five, that's going to make it pur purpley. Good. And uh, do you see them getting darker? If I add more, actually just, just do this point two. That's a little bit too dark. Yeah. And make the lines thinner. And maybe make them closer together so their Y is not so large, like that. I meant like that. Oh, that's not doing what I want it to do. I think it's the X position. Um, what if I add a bunch of lines? Oh, I'm not really seeing that. Why am I not seeing? Oh, because they're getting too dark. Sorry, folks. Sometimes I just don't know. Yay, there they are. There they are. I want them to be closer together, and I think I can reduce the... Um, Offset, maybe? What if I reduce that to 10? Yeah. How nice is that? I could modify the hue slightly as well as I move back. Let's break that out. Hue, like so. Const hue equals 0.75. Uh, let's make it shift to blue. No, shift to red. 
as it moves to the back. Meh. Maybe shift to blue. Okay. That I like. Um, that's all for now. If we had more time today, we would add, we could add noise to this. We could experiment with different positions for these undulating lines, the animated line art. We could do a lot of different things. We could ran, randomize the brush texture. Uh, I've included like four different, five different, maybe six different strokes that you could texture that line with. You could try different orientations. You could try color palettes. Uh, add post-processing. Come on, we, we'll just do that real quick. Just import um, Unreal Bloom. Yeah, that's the one I want. And let's instantiate um, Bloom Paths. We're gonna need the, uh, um, yeah. We're gonna need the comp the render pass. Actually, we don't need that. Unreal Bloom Pass. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. I don't know if that's gonna work. Is the effects composer just a part of 3JS now? No, it isn't. It's separate. You have to import the render pass as well. Um, import render effects composer and import render pass. Thank you. And it's not a three dot render pass. And it's not a three dot effects composer, effect composer. So I added some unreal, let's comment this out and see what we get for defaults. Uh, the, it's bloomy, but it really feels washed out now. Hmm. Let's see if I can make it feel less washed out. Okay, it's less washed out now. Oh, look at that. When it does when it does glow, it glows really nicely. Yeah. It's just it's not glowing as much as I'd like it to. Let's make this lightness. And define that. We could just define it as 0 0.5 and leave it at that. Oh, wow. that That's significantly brighter and not as good. Hmm. Let's have it shift to red. It's kind of cool, I guess. I'm feeling like I'm going to have to randomize those textures because it's looking too uniform. And turn this back on. Whoops. Just make it more subtle. As always, thanks so much for coming by. I love making these tutorials. If you like what you saw, consider supporting me on Patreon. It would really help. I'll see you in the next one.